you've been one of the most vocal activists um, since you kind of became a name in, in Orange is the New Black. Was this something that you always wanted to do, was to be a voice, or do you feel that it was kind of thrust on you with the responsibility of, of who you were? I, you know, I, in retrospect, I talked to my brother a lot about this. Years ago, I did a reality show called I Want to Work for Diddy, and I was sort of having a conversation with my brother, and I was like, well, I'm very political, and, he was, and, and should I talk about politics? I mean, I'm like, I'm black and I'm trans, that's a lot for people. And he said, if you have a platform, you should use it. And I kind of, follow that 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 directive from my brother and honestly in the beginning there was just so many things to speak out about but then also the way we were having a conversation about transgender people uh, four and five years ago was centered around bodies and it, those conversations far too often objectified and dehumanized transgender people so we needed to learn how to have conversations with and about trans people and it's gotten so much better we're not there yet of course but um, and I don't even know what there means because there's always a push-pull. When we have a little progress, we go back. And that's sort of the arc of history. But I, it, I felt it was necessary if I wanted to create space for myself that I had to begin and create space for other trans people that we had to really challenge the ways in which the conversation was happening. And I feel so um, honored that I got to be a, one of the vessels for that. There were so many other trans folks and a whole community of trans people who have been doing this work for decades that made it possible for me to come, you know, come and have the conversation that I that I, that I was um, a part of years ago and still am hopefully a part of um, in 2018. So um, lots of activism over the years. A lot of our Stonewall, speaking of pride, all our Stonewall veterans like Marsha B. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera who fought and who were kicked out of a movement that they helped to found that um, have cre helped create space for me. And so many so many people have come before me. Um, and I know you said it's not about the body, it's more than that, but your yearly birthday bikini selfie, is that a tradition? Is that a yearly birthday tradition? I don't think it's a tradition, but this year I was sort of like, there's so many ages out there that like, if you Google me, there's like this, at least three ages that I'm aware of. And I was just like, you know what? Let's just let them know that she still got it. No Photoshop, no face tuning, no filters. This is it. Not perfect, but it's not bad, right? <laughs>